Hey everyone, it's time for uh, our first official edition of Warlock Wednesday, uh, in which we will be playing a Warlock deck every Wednesday, uh, primarily Demon Lock. Now this is my Demon Lock deck, I've shown you before, but I will show at the beginning and end of every video. Uh, we have your typical uh, Demon Shell, Flame Imps, Void Walkers, Mistress of Pain, uh, Implosion, even though it is removal, it's part of the Demon Shell because you know it makes little imps. Uh, let's see, Void Caller is very important because it lets you get the, the big fatty down here out. Malganus is absolutely insane, makes the deck. Uh, Dread Infernal, uh, very good. Lord Draxus is just really, really decent in most situations. Uh, floating Watcher can be crazy. And then you just have really powerful things like Sylvanas, uh, Sludge Belcher, Faceless Manipulator. You have good removal package, Demon Heart, Siphon Soul, uh, Demon Fire, Dark Bomb, uh, Hellfire, Implosion, Shadow Flame, um, just tons of it. Uh, you know, all around I think this is a really decent deck. I don't know necessarily how it stacks up against the meta. Last week we did pretty good, we did 3 out of 4 wins. Uh, I've gone up a little bit in rank since then, not much. So let's see how we can do where we are right now and make sure I choose the right deck. Now this bad boy, be prepared for uh, Friday for a really fun video with my Recursion Shaman. I played it last night, it did pretty darn good. Alright, now let's go ahead and get into our first game here. Let's hope for some really absurd things like turn 4 Malgonuses, Malgoni, Malgonodes, whatever Malgonus is plural. Gul'dan versus Malfurion. Versus Malfurion. Your soul shall be mine. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and toss both of those and hope to get a flame amp or a void walker. Hmm, got a little worse. That's fine though. Job's done. So we got a pretty rough starting hand, but hopefully we can recover here in a bit. Um, being able to tap will speed that up. And he'll think that we're handlock. <laughs> By feigning handlock, he may play differently. Not sure if that's good or bad for us. Ooh, double dark bomb. That's coming handy. Nox is ours. Ramus is ours. Let's tempt him to uh, take that out of stealth. interesting play if he attacks into it. And is that because he wants to attack it and wrath next turn? It's a bit of an unusual line of play if so. Eight cards in hand. I'd like to just get some stuff on board. We should go old school and build a handlock deck that runs void callers, void walkers. I have no time for games. Hey, look, Sylvanas. So if I Demon Heart here, I can kill the Sylvanas. Then if Sylvanas takes Void Caller, I can kill that with Earthen Ring. 
It's not fantastic, but it gets the job done. If it takes Earthen Ring, I'm pretty okay with that. Oops. Almost did that incorrectly. Everything worked out there. I mean, he still has the 5-5, five five, but I can deal with that. If he decided to unstealth it at any time, I have Siphon Soul. I have a feeling he's going to save that for combo, though. Oh, you mean you didn't want to heal one life? Uh, obviously, that's a misplay. You heal the one life. Seems appropriate here. He doesn't find a. I mean, if he has this keeper, keeper of the grove in hand, then that's not a good play. But is that what's gonna happen? Yep. It's still fine. It forced him to deal with it. So Hellfire only gets rid of one thing, so might as well not play that. But I still want to take care of this thing. I wonder. This don't really have a great line of play. Okay, that makes things a little better, because I actually have things I can put on the board. And then... That there. I'm really low, though. I'm sure there was probably a better way to have played that turn, but... I live with your choices. It's unfortunate. Away from combo. Wait, his coin. He has combo right now. Or he does that, and pretty sure that means he wins. I mean, he could just swipe the face here. But, you know, I, can, I just have to pray that he doesn't have it. And then get Malganus or something. I must safeguard the Might be worth putting anti kill by mistake. Alright, so we lost that one. We did have that really rough starting hand. We didn't get a whole lot of momentum early on. But I also made a couple of misplays, so there is that. So let's go ahead in the second game, see if we can do a little better. I'd like to do as well as I did last week, three out of four wins. Alrighty, uh, toss just about everything. And another druid. A lot of druid on the ladder. Alright, I think Flame Imp Void uh, Walker is a very solid start. This is a very good starting hand.
And demon fire can be could be absolutely amazing right right here. So many targets. Feeling much better about our chances in this game than the last one. As you command. Neck druid. Wow. Not something you see every day. Let me think about that, actually. If I go here and attack, that makes this a... 3-4, which makes it a better <laughs> swipe target. Do it here, and I'll make it a 3-3 at the end, making it a better wrath target, but... The... hmm. Let's do it here. It pulls a swipe, that means he can't use it later. There we go. That is unfortunate, but I did get some value out of it. From the void I come. Okay, so my plays are either I could either ignore it and just play Sludge Vulture. I don't like that. Um, I could play Defender of Argus and then attack this. Uh, I would still have a 4 1 and then a 2 3 that would go to face. I could Demon Heart one of these and then attack and then go to face with the other. Or just use Demon Heart as straight removal. Demon Heart is really good burst though. And Drew doesn't have a have great ways to do board clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play it out like this. Now once again, Swipe is fairly decent here. Um, he doesn't realize I don't have any demons in hand. So uh, by killing the Void Caller, uh, he'd be getting pretty good value. It'd be like the equivalent of silencing before killing. Yeah, there we go. It's fairly expected. Maybe should have thought about playing around swipe a little more last turn, but now he's out of swipes. I don't have to worry about that moving forward. Alright, well he doesn't have swipe. So it'd be fairly unlikely that he could kill the floating launcher. It's gonna put some very needed pressure on him. Okay, Hellfire is fine here. How do I want to play that? Let's tap and play a Sludge Vulture. And just pray those bombs don't do anything too good. Now, Keeper of the Grove is obviously powerful here, but can't play around everything. I'll have a combo soon. Hmm, 
Okay, that means that other bot can't take this out. Unless he has Keeper of the Grove for two damage. All right. I think Sludge Belcher has to come back out. So many possibilities. He combos next turn though. I'm definitely dead. So we're gonna have to remove a few things. Tap and Flame Imp is my play after removal, so let's tap first. Flame Imp. Remove that. And Demon Heart. Gotta play around that combo. The combo's here. It gets high roll and blocks my face. So, okay, never mind, it doesn't even matter. But had he done that and got high rolled in my face. He would have still won, but it was it, that would have been really unlikely. I can see. Thank you. Alrighty, so we took one in the bag. Uh, I'd like to credit that to playing around combo because he did have a very solid board to to win in that situation. Alright, so we're 1-1. One one. Let's go ahead and go into the third game. I'd like to take the uh, Hearthstone uh, sound bites and incorporate them into my daily life. Like that music right there playing like when you're running late for work. Alright, so Toss to Rax is keep Void Caller. I always keep Void Caller in opening hand for the games where you have a chance to get Malganus out early. I don't know if anyone noticed in Total Biscuit's most recent video, he popped everything and then hit this and it just started pouring water constantly. He never mentioned anything about it, but it never stopped pouring water. It's an interesting glitch. Now, I have not played this deck enough to know its matchups, so I'm not 100% sure how it deals with Priest. So, Priest has a lot of good answers to Nogonis, so I'm not feeling super good about it. And I played Imp as opposed to Tapping because I want to get some pressure on the board, but also because I want to keep the my hand empty of Demons so that if I do get a Nogonis, Void Caller only has one target. The damn stand ready. Dom stand ready. Well, I definitely want to kill that while there's nothing else on board. Straight up that way. I don't think the taunt's going to be super important for me moving forward. Circle. No circle. Oh my gosh. What a mistake. Void caller, flame imp, and then I have Malgonis in hand. This could go very good. Or he could have Shadow Word Death and he could go very poorly. Alright. I don't want to play this one out. So I could just straight buff this to a 5-6 and attack and take it out and have a 5-3. And then I could even heal it or heal myself. 
I could tap Demon Fire Attack, have a 3 1. I could Implosion, have a 3 1. Makes him very likely to Holy Fire next turn. It feels like a very greedy play playing that out like that. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go to the first line of play I talked out. Now I have a 5 6 Void Caller, which the bigger the threat, the more likely to get taken down. If he uses a Shadow Word Death there, I am thrilled. Okay, I have. That's not even a good counter to this board. I should have done this first, no matter what. Of course. I can ease your pain. I can ease your pain. Embrace the void. Embrace the void. Oh man, I had to pause there for a second and mute the mic. I was about made all of you go death with, death with a sneeze. So, implosion here. Actually, should tap first, but that's fine. It's nine to face. So even if he does shadow or death that now, I just nine his face and got a free life tap. Okay, siphon soul. By Siphon Soul, I have no follow-up, so I'm just going to go ahead and tap first. Nine to face again. So unless he deals with it, I've got lethal next turn. Actually, he has to deal with both because I have Demon Heart. Or heal, I guess, but whatever. Not a real thing. It may. It may. It may. Do it. Okay, that's fine. Yes. I love the new imp from Algonis. It looks a lot better than the other imp does. They can make really neat posters of just like the card. He has to heal himself. Well, actually, I guess it doesn't matter. The damned stand ready. So I win. Unless it hits that, don't hit that. Okay. Alright, so we're two and one. That was a Caller Malganis game. Those are always the best ones. So let's go ahead and go into the fourth game today. Now if we win here, this will be the last uh, game of the video. If we lose, I'll go for the tiebreaker. I don't like ending on an even record, uh, but I think four games will be probably the average that we'll see in a uh, Warlock Wednesday video. Now, Warlock Wednesday will primarily be Demon Locked because I understand it's a deck that is just kind of more fun to watch. Uh, but at the last Wednesday of each month, I will do another Warlock, whether it's something really gimmicky like Murloc Warlock, or something actually halfway decent like Demon Lock, I mean, uh, Hand Lock or Zoo Lock. Alright, I'm going to keep Malganus for the Void Caller play if I draw one. 
this is a pretty good hand against this deck. So, okay. Why do you call? Why do you call? Well, I missed you, man. He has some awkward trades here unless he has another death rattle on hand. <laughs> oh, wish a death rattle could have gone on first, but not how that mechanic works. Trigger first, then death rattle. Good body that can threaten uh, Undertaker if he doesn't have a pump. Even if he has a pump, he has to have two. Well, that's a play. Alright, I think Argus and attack that is fine here. Now obviously he has a really fine trade there, but get rid of his uh, only beast. Bleeding pretty quickly here. That's definitely not what I wanted to see. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that means we lose. Yeah, that, that's game right there. Go ahead and go into game five. Tiebreaker. Oh. Huh. You know, aggro decks are very, very prominent on the ladder. So I should look into ways to uh, add a little bit more clear, but I do have a lot of removal. I may also want to put Blood Mage Thanos in this deck because there, or did I put Blood Mage Thanos in this deck? Hmm, I don't remember now. May have done that last week. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Answers my question. Alright, so rematch with Hunter. Well, not the same guy, I don't think. No. Alright, so I'm just gonna tap here. Oh man, talk about a good start. I think I just have to slowly bleed some. Slow the bleed some. Let's get all those letters in the right order. If I win this, I'm going to treat myself with something delicious for breakfast, like McDonald's or something else disgusting in fast food. Man, that's such a dangerous line of play. I think I have to do it. 
Maybe he ignores it and next turn I can play not the Void Caller and pop the Malganus out. Greetings, traveler. Oh, does he have it? Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so we have seven, eight, nine. He only needs eight more. Kill command. Nah, he wouldn't have been able to get it. He's awful close though. No! No! He ruined all of our chances of victory. Oh no. So if I take this out, that leaves him with eight. Mm hmm So many possibilities. I mean that is that is most likely game. I, I find it hard to believe he wouldn't have one damage in hand somewhere. But I'm not dead on board, so I'm gonna hit this button and let him play out his turn and most likely beat me. My apologies. Yeah, he has it. I'll let the dog... There we go. I'll let him go ahead and play out his turn uh, while we end this episode. Okay, so... On the current ladder, this deck is not fantastic because it can't handle aggro, hunter. Wait, what happened there? Oh! By playing that, he didn't have enough to hero power. It doesn't really matter because I can't win from this position, but... I can eat. Go ahead and play this out. And then just let him actually win. He's got it. Well played. But uh, maybe we can make some changes next week. Get some lower costing uh, minions in there. Floating Watchers are nice late, but uh, possibly running one is correct and then running something else lower to add some aggro. We'll uh, do some fiddling with it next week and see what we can come up with. But we uh, went up a rank and went down a rank there. So I think we're exactly where we were, maybe. I think maybe I had full stars. Not 100%. Anyways, that is Demon Rock. I'll show you the deck one more quick time. Like I said, I would in the beginning. And uh, then we're going to call it a day with this deck. So there's the deck. Let's go ahead and make some changes. Let's go ahead and make some changes right now. I'm going to take out Faceless. Uh, maybe one Floating Watcher. Uh, what are our what are our options demon wise that I'm not using? Hmm. Not really liking my choices here. Am I missing any demons? Bell guard. Bane of Doom could be interesting. Can't make it though. Okay, so most demon lock decks run a Loathub. Until recently, I didn't give him the props he really deserved. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a Loathub here. Do I wanna do that? Is that correct? Well, I definitely want an anti-kill bot. I was talking about that earlier. I think that's really good. Now that I saw that, I know that's the addition I want to the deck is anti-kill bot. 
I don't want to trade out a floating for something. I'll leave floating. Explosive wins and all that fun stuff. But anti-cobot, maybe that'll make a big difference next week. Um, and I will see you then.